the last few years, my garage has been sort of a hot mess while I've been working on the inside of my house. So I've decided to start working on my garage storage. So today I'm going to be showing you how I upgraded our garage storage for bikes and sports equipment. Ever since we bought this house, that wall has had peeling paint all over it, dirty marks, and grungy looking blinds in the windows. So I started by removing everything from this wall in the garage. I scraped off the peeling paint and I applied a primer so that the new paint would stick a lot better to that drywall. Then for the lower half of the wall, I installed beadboard paneling with shiplap along the top and bottom. I wanted that extra wood there just so that it would strengthen whatever I attached to the walls and protect the wall from damage when things are bumped up against it. Painting the lower half of that wall gray adds a little bit of extra style, but also the gray hides more dirt. So it's practical in a few different ways. If you don't want to install wood in your garage though, you could get the same effect by just painting the lower half of your garage gray. Once I was finished with all of the painting and the wood filler that I used on that beadboard, I was ready to start installing some storage options for the bikes in my garage. For my husband's road bike, we went with a wall mounted bike rack. He wanted to be able to have that bike up off the ground while he worked on the gears, the wheels, whatever he does on his road bike. This was just way more convenient and easier for him. You can find these in stores or online for between $20 and $40 generally. It's super convenient if you only have one or two bikes to store. But for more bikes like we need for our family, we do need some other options. I'll show you those in a minute. I bought everything that we used for our garage bike storage on Amazon, so I'll put links to those in the description below if you want to see them. So in addition to needing garage storage for our bikes, I also wanted to be able to store all of the kids' sports equipment in one place all together so that it's really organized and it's a separate area for my woodworking and tools. I spent a couple hours comparing different garage storage options for bikes and sports equipment, and I ended up liking um, two things from a company called Bird Rock. They were highly rated, they look really nice, and the price was pretty good. So I went for those two items. It took about two or three days for Amazon to get these delivered to my house. The directions that come with these things for assembly are really clear and easy to understand. I, I put these together all by myself. So it's simple enough to do alone. You just have to have a, like a screwdriver or a few other things, nothing crazy. I think each one of these took about 15 or 20 minutes to put together. So again, it's super convenient and quick to put together. It's really strong, sturdy metal. I am very happy with the quality of these items. Another thing I really like about these two pieces from Bird Rock is that they're nice and wide. They're not small garage storage options. So some of them are made for tight spaces. These were wide. They're going to hold a lot of things for us. The storage rack on the left is 17 inches deep almost. 31 inches wide and 43 inches high. That four bike rack is 21 inches deep, 47 inches wide and 41 inches high. So tons of great storage. Here's a closer look at that bike storage rack with three bikes in it. So I wanna say that this bike rack is really great. It's super sturdy. It doesn't move at all when you put the bikes in and out. My 10 year old and my eight year old can move their bikes in and out without any help. And there's tons of storage on top for all of their balls, balloons, all the stuff, you know, that kids play with outside. Both the bike rack storage and the other, the sporting equipment storage come with hooks on the side too. So I've got jump ropes hanging on the side. I've got our baseball bats and little tee on the side of it. There's tons of room here for our sports equipment storage now. Like I said earlier, I like how the beadboard is tougher than just the drywall that was there before. So anybody can bang up against this and it's not going to damage it the way it does with drywall. You can see here how there's tons of deep storage for all of your soccer balls, your basketballs, anything that you need for your kids. My husband's bike equipment is all lined up here. There's shelves for the helmets or any other sports equipment that you want to store in your garage. Since I topped off that beadboard with a piece of shiplap, I was able to install some wooden pegs to use as hooks for hats, helmets, whatever you need for your garage. You could also hang storage bags from those hooks just to add on to your storage options in your garage. And if you don't have wooden pegs, you could also just use regular hooks, so like coat hooks and wall hooks to do the same thing. My husband's road bike has its own space and it's up off the ground, like I mentioned before, so he can work on it without having to worry about it toppling over. I replaced our grungy old blinds with static clean privacy window film. So this was really easy to install, but it's also really easy to clean. I used to have to try to clean dead bugs and lizards and all kinds of stuff out from behind those blinds. They were always covered in dust and sawdust. This window film is much easier to keep clean and it lets a lot more light into my garage than those blinds did. 
As you can see above that beadboard, I have tons of space where I could put a really big shelf or some wire bins that can hold more things. I don't need it yet, but it's an option for later on if we decide we need more storage up there. But I am loving the start to our garage organization efforts. The bike storage in the garage is working great. It's easy for my boys to get those bikes in and out. And they're eight and 10 years old. They're not, you know, like teenage boys. These are young boys and they can easily get their bikes out of there. And I love that whenever they get something out now, they know exactly where to put it back. So it is keeping our garage a lot cleaner than it used to be. I used to be constantly moving things around and reorganizing things because people would just throw them around. But now they know exactly where things go, so they put them back there on their own, which is a huge bonus. That's it for today, guys. I hope showing you our garage storage for our bikes and sports equipment has helped you figure out how you want to organize your own garage. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I do try to answer them whenever I get a chance. Bye, guys.